Good Wednesday morning, everyone. Thanks for clicking on CoinLocal6.com, Pinpoint Weather. I'm meteorologist Matt Broad, and a beautiful morning out there, but very cold, 32 as of about the 8 o'clock hour. But look at how dry our conditions are live. 3D Pinpoint Doppler indicating clear skies overhead. Cold temperatures, clear skies setting the stage for some of that frost that we saw this morning. That will change as we warm up, as high pressure really sending all these storm systems uh, straight to the north instead of coming off to the east. And as a result, we're going to be dry for about, I would say, 72 hours until the day on Friday. Let's time it out. We're going to go to rain and snow cast. Here we are, 7 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. Usually we pause this, indicating where we see clouds and rain coming in. But notice we go through Wednesday, we go through Thursday. The next pause comes Friday. We're going to stop this at about uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That looks to be about the timing when we have some showers off to our west. So uh, Friday, I'd say kind of a mixed bag. The first half looking okay. Second half, we got to introduce some afternoon rain chances. By Friday evening, a little colder as that cold front moves through, seeing some uh, rain and snow mixing in at the coast range. And then Saturday morning, uh, looks like we'll see scattered showers, but some snow showers in the Cascades and colder air mass will bring some snow showers also to the coast range. But until then, let's talk about your Wednesday weather. At the coast, we're mostly sunny today with high temperatures in the mid to even upper 50s in some spots. Mid 50s in the I 5 corridor and maybe a little bit warmer. Now, we didn't have the fog, so that means we'll have a full day of sunshine, but the problem is we started the day in the 20s, so it's going to be tough to warm up too much. 40s as you make your way east of the Cascades, and we're looking at 20s and 30s for the Cascades. Freeze level coming up to about 5,000 feet. 40s and 50s in the Columbia River Gorge, and here in the metro, we are looking at temperatures mostly in the mid 50s, so warmer than yesterday, and I think also sunnier than yesterday, just not a lot warmer because we started off so cold with those temperatures in the 20s. But I think if we start off tomorrow in the 30s, we can up these temperatures even more for our Thursday. But for the rest of today, mid 50s turning mostly sunny, then for tonight, clear and cool, and 30s for nighttime lows, not 20s. That way, I think we get to be about 62 tomorrow. That would be the warmest day of 2012. Then 58. Right now, I'm thinking afternoon showers on Friday, then a couple of morning showers on your Saturday. Then another system comes here on Sunday, giving us a wet day. So we enter a more active weather pattern as we near the weekend and beyond. But until then, enjoy some of the best weather, at least the warmest weather we've seen so far in, you know, almost four months. All right, that's it for now. I'm Coin Local 6 meteorologist Matt Broad. Thanks again for clicking on CoinLocal6.com.